What's up? How's everyone doing today? It's uh, Sunday, about 5.20. I'm uh, just now leaving my mom's house. Uh, spent a couple hours with, uh, with her and uh, spent the weekend with my girlfriend. It was a good weekend. Got to watch uh, Floyd Mayweather. He won unanimous decision against Cotto. It was a good fight. So I went to Buffalo Wild Wings for that. Enjoyed my time this weekend. Um, excited to get back to the school. Um, this Wednesday we're doing our DPS test or our CDL license test. So, you know, we're going to find out. They give you two or three times to pass it. Uh, ho hopefully I can pass it on the, uh, the first go around. So, you know, it, it relieves so much stress. And then I can just worry about finishing up the school and we'll be all set. But uh, that's, that's Wednesday. Um, other than that... I'm excited as well because this week I filled out three applications. I did one to Warner, one to TMC, and also another one to uh, US Express. I was pre-accepted for all three of them. So, uh, you know, I'm still going to look to fill out about three to five more applications to kind of be able to pick and choose what company I want to work for. Uh, I'm going to, you know, give them a call and see what benefits and that actual mileage that they're, I'm going to, you know, receive. I think now I am going to choose to do six, at least six months over the road to start. I want to get that experience so I could do anything. Um, also, you know, I don't have any bills, so I, I just, I want to try to make the most amount of money and try to save the most amount of money. Hopefully in the first six to eight months, uh, I, you know, I can, I could, I could take that whole time and just drive. You know, I, I love driving. That's, it's something I've always enjoyed to do, especially when I lived in Connecticut, either to drive to Virginia Beach or New York City or, uh, you know, I've driven from Connecticut to Oklahoma. So I've driven a lot. I enjoy it. I don't want to take time off. I want to just keep racking in the money, uh, keep saving as much as I can. Then I can come back, work locally and, and work on, uh, you know, buying a house and, uh, you know, I'm probably going to, if I work over the road, look to sell this car back as well. And then, uh, you know, my next car hopefully buy outright. So uh, that's what's going to be my game plan. Um, as far as the last week, let's start on that recap, man. Um, last week was a great week. Monday, we still, we worked, we drove on the range, worked on our turning, our shifting. Um, we also worked on the offset backing on Monday and the uh, straight backing, which by now everyone pretty ha pretty pretty much has it, Pat. Uh, you know, I, I think everyone thinks those two are easy. Uh, Tuesday in the morning, we still did the range work, uh, driving, and we also still worked on our offset. Uh, Tuesday afternoon after lunch, we were demoed the 90 degree backing, which is always from the driver's side, and we demoed the parallel from the driver side and blind side. Uh, for the DPS tests, you, uh, you have to do your straight back, you have to do your offset back, which your offset back is either gonna be from uh, the blind side or driver side. And then, so that'll be the first two, and then your last one is either gonna be your 90 degree or your uh, parallel part, either driver side or blind side. So I'm uh, pretty confident in those actually. Tuesday, after they demoed it, which means they released you to do it, um, I only got to do the 90 degree. It, it took one time to figure out and to just gauge uh, the, you know, where you have to start turning your wheels and where the trailer's going. Um, but I've got the 90 degree down good. The blind side parallel and the driver side parallel, uh, for me, I'm, I'm pretty confident about that as well. I feel like it's, uh, you know, they, they teach you and, you know, they help you out. But uh, I figure, you know, that took two times to get, three times to get, and now I feel like I, you know, I could do that, uh, not a problem. The DPS test, they give you 12 points for all three backs, and you shouldn't get any points taken off on your night, uh, on your straight backing or your offset, because you get two free pull-ups and two get-outs, so I don't, wouldn't imagine that I should have to use any points on that, so really, I'll have 12 points for my final bag, whether it's the 90 or any of the parallels, um, Besides that, though, it's just um, that was Tuesday. Wednesday, they demoed the road. So they took us on a road trip. Uh, the instructor drove. Myself and my partner were sitting in uh, either in the back or the um, or the passenger seat. With that demo, um, supposedly they said they were doing the 
that was the route of the the CDL test. I'm not sure if it was, uh, but you know it's about a 15 mile trip or so. Uh, it takes about a half hour to do, so it's not it's not too bad. It's not too strenuous. Uh, you know the the, the drive test. The, you, you get you get a point taken off for uh, grinding gears, um, and you know that's maybe not using your blinker and not maybe knowing a sign they can ask you up to six signs along the way so you got to really not only focus on your mirrors focus on your speed watch uh, your your tack when you're shifting but you got to know the road signs if they ask you how far to oiler like it's a town um, it's a town right near drum right you have to know you have to be able to say that sign said you know 15 miles to oiler um, or they might say what that sign say and they might say uh, you know school bus stop ahead so you got to know all your signs uh, they take a point off if you don't know some of the automatic failures are hitting the curb uh, going over any of the grass you know um, impeding traffic they're impeding traffic is either uh, going under 10 miles of the speed limit so if the speed limit is 65 if you go 54 you're impeding traffic it's an automatic failure uh, another automatic failure is um, now the, well, obviously, those are the three big ones. Speeding, if you're one over, it's an automatic failure. That's why the instructors drill into you, go five under. It gives you a five mile per hour leeway either way. You know, when you're going downhill, when you're going uphill, you know you, you don't want to impede and you don't want to speed. So that's that. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm really confident. My downshifting, I've been working on it. I've been getting that better. Um, just depends on the truck as well, you know. They have some of the nicer trucks for the schools that I, you know, that I have have researched and my brothers researched. Um, they're pretty new, but you know, obviously with students driving them or grinding gears, it, you know, it gets a little harder and harder. They're they're old internationals that they have. Uh, they really buck and bully, so it's you know, they're not, we're not going to use any internationals for the DPS test. I'm hoping I get 424 truck 424 at Central Tech it's so smooth it, you can't grind I mean you can but it's so hard to grind a gear in that uh, that's a beautiful truck 425 is a little more finicky that that's the truck I had um, when I did my first uh, when I did my first road drive on Thursday um, so anyways to continue Wednesday we were demoed supposedly the CDL test route um, then we came back and I did my parallel parking and uh, Thursday was our first road trip, as I just mentioned. That was good. Um, it was a 30-mile trip each way. So my partner, I, I was second. So my partner drove the first 30 miles, stopped at a gas station. I drove the second 30. Um, it was pretty good. My downshifting was struggling because of you know I had a different truck. Wednesday I had 424. It was beautiful. 425 I had Thursday, and uh, you know downshifting gave me a little bit of problems. And I wasn't necessarily maybe watching my tech enough as I should have been. So. It's my, it's my fault, I'm learning. Um, uh, but that's what we did Thursday, it was exciting, man. When you're when you're going 20 miles per hour on the range, and then, you know, they, they throw you out on the road and you're going 60, it's, you know, it feels like you're going, uh, you know, 100 miles per hour in a big truck. Every, every pothole you hit, you know, with the wind as well, it just feels like, you know, you're bouncing up and down and going all over. But, uh, you know, you get the hang of it. Um, I think the first, 15 miles of that 30 mile trip on Thursday was uh, nerve wracking and then after that you kind of just mellow out and you just know what you got to do you know they always say check your mirrors every uh, six to eight seconds make sure you check your tack your, your gauge levels um, for your water temperature oil temperature pyrometer um, make sure you, you're scanning you're looking at the signs but you know you just want to make sure you keep that trailer in the lane you know whether it be a turn or the the wind the wind out there was pretty mellow thursday friday on our second test or not our test our second drive it was about 23 mile drive each way um, i remember i was going about i was going 60 it was a 65 and I, it's a one lane road they call it a highway but it's a one lane road each way um, back east i don't call that a highway it's just, it's just, it's just a road to me um but it, that's their highway. Uh, so I was driving 60, and it was one lane. I was going, and I saw a big, you know, another semi coming up. And uh, as he started passing me, it, it wasn't bad. As soon as half of his trailer got 
uh, past half of my trailer, all I heard was a big thud. I mean, it, it sounded like 10 people, you know, made a fist and simultaneously hit the side of your trailer. Um, and I mean, it kind of moved a little bit and, uh, it, it, like I said, it made a huge noise. So I was just kind of checking my mirrors and, uh, you know, it's just, it was just the wind. It was the wind coming off their trailer and uh, smacked yours pretty good. So you, you just kind of be aware of stuff like that. But I mean, the instructors, when you're taking the trip, they're really lenient. They, they tell you what to do about, a, you know, a half a mile ahead. Uh, they're really good. They, you know, you just talk with them like you're just driving your car and you're, you're taking them around the block. You know, I mean, but we talked about restaurants and, um, and my partner and him were talking about, uh, the cattle that they had and stuff, you know, being in Oklahoma, that's a, that's like a hobby to a lot of these guys, and which is cool. Um, Oklahoma is the, the biggest um, cattle state or uh, beef producing state, so this is where a lot of everyone gets their their meats supposedly from. So it was interesting to hear their stories while I was driving and, and we'd talk about restaurants and uh, you know the instructor that is teaching our class, he actually. Um, He's he's was driving over the road for quite a few years, and he used to love going up to upstate New York, which is a beautiful place. Um, but he's driven all the East Coast, and we were just talking about the, the differences of Italian food here and there, and how here it's just it doesn't. I mean, it's not even close. And I miss it, but I mean, you know, I cook my own. I make my own pasta, you know, pasta meals. I, I uh, make my own sauce and stuff like that. I can make meatballs. I don't too often, but I make my own pizzas, calzones. Uh, sausage and pepper so you know I don't really I miss it a little bit because it's you know it's a lot easier when you can just spend 15 bucks to buy a pizza than you know have to have to work and make it but it's fun I like cooking I was actually thinking about going to culinary school before this came up because uh, cooking and, and driving are my two you know what I what I enjoy most now besides watching or playing soccer or basketball with friends so um, anyways on, on that note I just want to give you guys a quick I got two minutes left uh, I want to give you a quick review of the school. Central Tech, Drumright, Oklahoma. If you're looking for a school, go to the school. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. I'm, I'm really critical on companies, on schools, uh, about what I'm getting into. You know, when you learn how to truck from a company, whether it be Warner, TMC, Swift, anyone, you know, they're going to teach you how to drive, obviously, but they're going to teach you their way. It might not be the right way, it might not be the wrong way, but Central Tech is teaching you the right way. I mean, they're one of the best schools in the country for, for driving, for, for obtaining your CDL. So uh, I would I would give it about a 9.5. And my only .5 would come off the first instructor because um, I couldn't hear him. I mean, he just he talked low. And, um, and he's an older guy, but he's a great guy. He was really knowledgeable, really smart, helped us out. Um but that's it, 9.5 out of 10, that's that's a that's a good rating. And so definitely check out that school. Um, <clears throat> you know, if, if you guys have any questions <coughs> or, or anything like that about the school, um, about how I'm enjoying it, just comment below. I need some comments from you guys. Um, I got to start getting some more views, so I'm going to work on that as well. But, uh, you know, again, if that one person sees it and it's informational, wonderful. That's, you know, that's part of the reason, half the reason I'm doing it. So, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Uh, check out Mo's Mojo 78 It's my brother. His vlogs are going to get a lot more interesting as he's two weeks away from going to Mexico. And um, I'm not going to tell you too much about that, but check that out. That's that's going to be uh, it's going to be some good vlogs. If any of you are uh, in his shoes or or whatever uh, it's gonna it's probably gonna be pretty informational he doesn't usually vlog as long as I do but um, he just try, he tries to get it all out there as quick as possible so I hope you enjoyed um, central text great again I had three acceptance letters from companies so I'm pumped about that my CDL test is Wednesday the first try so I'm excited about that I'm working my shifting this week gonna work on my parallel and 90 some more just to master it or you know perfected as much as I can before the tests and I'll pass that you know I'll talk to you guys next week I'll let you know how the CDL test went let you know how their backing tests went we're actually going to start taking some road trips uh, one's going to be to Oklahoma City it's going to be like a, it's a full day thing I think it's next week or the week after so I'll let you know what I'm up to next week uh, I'll talk to you next Sunday I hope you guys had a good weekend hope you guys have a good upcoming week remember keep subscribing start leaving some comments and I'll see you guys on the flip side later